Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Aki, I'm out there pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya coming at you with another lesson, and I'll be profiling an article from the People's Voice TV titled Harari, which is a uh, Noah Yuval Harari says elites will escape mass deletion event in technological Noah's Ark. And hey, you know, these elites are getting prepared for major changes to happen in society, you know, chaotic, uh, just destructive changes. And they think that they're just going to go and hide in their different, you know, retreats and safe spaces and come back to the surface like a phoenix rising from the ashes after all the dust settles to, you know, further implement and ultimately rule in their NW0. But according to biblical prophecy, that's not the case. Hey, when you elites go into your bunkers and other hiding places, that's just going to be to protect you and preserve you for when Yahawashai, the son of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so-called Jesus, and the 144,000 of the elect of the nation of Israel, who are fishers of men right now prophesying this word, they're going to be hunters of men in that day and the new elites with spiritual powers and they're going to go to every place you elites are hiding and drag you out of your holes like the rat you are to slap cold chains on you so you can be the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of heaven just like you're the first fruits in this wicked society you've built up the global elite and their chosen people will escape the flood in a technological Noah's Ark while the rest of the world is left to drown, according to WEF advisor Yuval Noah Harari, which, you know, I'm sure some brothers have marked this devil already, but I want that devil to be one of my slaves in the kingdom because I, you know, he's a proud, you know, Edomite, Amalekite demon. Speaking at the Warwick Economics Summit, Harari, whose middle name is fittingly Noah, painted a grim picture of the future, predicting that while most of the population will face extinction, hey, think of the Georgia Guidestones, keeping the population at or under 500 million, the world's chosen elite will use advanced technology to escape. According to Harari, this select group is already preparing for a global catastrophe that will leave billions behind. Revelation 12, verse 12. For the devil is come down unto you, that devil or deceiver Esau Edom, the so-called white man, specifically the elites like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, has come down unto you having great wrath bringing about all this chaos because he knoweth that he hath but a short time to what fulfill his great work that nw0 that great r-e-s-e-t that fourth industrial technological revolution and this is a uh a x clip from il um i not e but if bad comes to worse when the flood comes the scientists will build a Noah's Ark for the elite, leaving the rest to drown. Yuval Harari. This is a fair use copyright disclaimer. I do not own any of the footage in this clip, nor do I stand to gain from it monetarily. It is simply for educational purposes. You have a small elite that uh, pushes things in its own interests, even if it doesn't benefit the vast majority of the population. This has happened so many times previously in history, and it's probably going to happen again. Um, the, one of the biggest dangers to the planet today is this technological utopia, because probably for the elite it will work, 
if bad comes to worst, when the flood comes, the scientists will build a Noah's Ark for the elite, leaving the rest to drown, the rest of the people and then the rest of the, of the ecosystem. But they are likely to be able to construct this technological Noah's Ark, which is probably what much of the elite is, is counting on. And hey, like I said, you elites and a lot of your uh, your little underlings like uh, Yuval Noah Harari, you know, your BGs, whoever. And you know who I'm talking about with BG. And a lot of y'all are going to survive in your uh, technological bunkers and safe spaces just so you can, you know, be the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. There's no escaping your fate. And, you know, when we see things like this and hear these people say this, hey, it's just further confirmation that the scriptures and biblical prophecy are true. But that's it with this article. Now, let's get into these precepts. This is Job chapter 20. I'm going to start at verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, speaking of these elites, he shall be in straits or troubles. And because these elites, they, they have the planet on lock right now. But since we're at the end what a they're being exposed first and foremost by the prophets the men of the lord out on the highways and byways preaching this word as well as putting up video epistles like this and then with that spirit of exposing this devil going out as it says in isaiah 25 verse 7 this covering cast over all the people being lifted away you've got these other whistleblowers and, and truth tellers out here coming out and exposing you devils you know Rothschild, and you know a lot of these other terms out here and names are becoming a household because of just so much exposure going out on you every hand of the wicked shall come upon him and when we go into that word wicked in the strongs it's h 601 a male and it reads laborer sufferer wretched one laborer workman so what the average man out here like I just said, you know, beginning with the men of the Lord, which, you know, the majority of brothers out here, hey, we're just regular citizens. You know, we, we go to our jobs, you know, pay our bills and, you know, we're, we're laborers Hey, we're exposing you. And then the other, you know, average common man out here is exposing you as well. Hence why you're having to speed up, you know, all your plans and agendas. Hey, the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. When he is about to fill his belly, you know, he's created all sorts of chaos, that, and he's bringing that order out of the chaos, which is ultimately going to be getting um, the majority of the people out here to get that RFID slash NFC C-HIP implant, which is the M-A-R-K-O-F-T-H-E b-e-a-s-t in revelation 13 verses 16 to 18 he's thinking look i've finally accomplished my great work my nw0 i can sit back and enjoy the fruits of my labors having these people eating the bugs living in the 15 minute cities just being completely subservient underneath him when he is about slakia when he is about to fill his belly the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Because once that sea hip is mandatorily implemented, hey, the final part of World War Three is going to happen when nuclear missiles are going to be shot to the ends of the earth and hit everywhere that the Edomites dwell. The United States of America is going to be completely wiped off the map. Hey, your ambitions, Esau, is going to go up in flames. Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Speaking of those nuclear missiles, it is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him because while you know. They're going to be safe in their bunkers. It says in Isaiah chapter 24 that these missiles are going to make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard. So it's going to be a terrifying time even for you elites in your hiding places. It is drawn, it's like you, verse 26, 
all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, those nukes. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. First and foremost with you elites and you other Edomites outside of America that survived the destruction. And you're going to survive just so that Yahweh and the 144,000 can begin putting you into slavery. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And you know that's speaking of the second heavens or a low orbit space where these satellites dwell. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity. You know, video epistles like this and, you know, all these other uh, truth telling alternative media videos going on the Internet or what exposing you and causing the people in the earth to get hip to your game and rise up against you. But now I'm going to go to Numbers chapter 24. I'm going to read verses 15 to 20. And this is dealing with the uh, vision that Balaam, the Moabite, saw of the latter of the latter days, you know, the end, which we're quickly approaching when the children of Israel, which uh, consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are going to be back in power, ruling in the kingdom of heaven for eternity. And these heathen nations, beginning with you Edomites, are going to be in captivity underneath us. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, speaking of Yahweh and a scepter shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab, so-called Chinese, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom, so-called white people, shall be a possession. Slaves, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And now listen closely, Yuval Noah Harari, and when he looked on Amalek, which those Amalekites, you know, they're the top tribe of the Edomites. They're those small hats, the 1948ers, which Yuval Noah Harari is, as well as, you know, the Rothschilds and, you know, pretty much all these other elites. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, the head over everybody else, which these uh, 1948ers are, who runs Hollywood, who runs the banking industry, who runs these major, you know, you know, aspects of society out here, Amalek, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Again, when the dust settles after the great destruction Yahweh Shai and the 144,000 are coming to get you elites, a lot of you Amalekites, to slap those cold iron chains on you. This is Amos chapter 9. I'm going to read verses 1 to 3. And I saw Yahweh standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. You elites trying to escape this judgment, which again, a lot of you are going to survive the destruction just so that those that are chasing after you hey, are going to get you. Those hunt, those fishers of men that are going to be hunters in that day, though they dig into hell which when you go into that word hell, it's Sha'ol or the grave. So it's speaking of these underground bunkers that you have, those domes, deep underground military bases. Thence shalt mine hand take them. Yahweh shine the 144,000, like a uh, dig dig, are gonna come underground to get your ass. Though they climb up to heaven, a hey, in low orbit space with these uh, space stations and other assets you have up there, 
Remember, you've had an uptick in Elon Musk, Richard Brand, and uh, Jeff Bezos coming out with luxury space travel, you know, services for the higher ups in society. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Verse three, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, and Carmel is a mountain, so what? Deep mountain bases, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, in your uh, undersea bunkers, your uh, luxury submarines, as well as these undersea highways, all which you can look up, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. So not only are the 144,000 going to go underwater like Aquaman <laughs> to drag you out, but even Leviathan is going to get some of you as well. And so much for a, a technological <laughs> Noah's Ark. But now I'm going to go to Psalms 149. I'm going to start at the top. And it says, Israel invoked to praise Yahweh. Praise ye Yahweh. Sing unto Yahweh a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. And that new song is beginning to be sung right now by the elect. You know, telling the children of Israel who they are telling you heathens especially you edomites who you are what the true name of the heavenly father and his son is and what is going to be the fate in the day in the times to come israel on top and you heathens underneath us let israel rejoice in him that made him let the children of zion be joyful in their king let them praise his name in the dance let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp for Yahweh hath taken pleasure in his people and his people only. He will beautify the meek with salvation, beginning with the elect and the wicked of our people that are taken out on this side are going to be reborn righteous through the loins of the elect into the kingdom of heaven under the new covenant. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing upon their beds. And when you're in bed, you're at rest. So the children of Israel finally being at rest in rulership in the kingdom of heaven. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance, not peace, not love, not unity upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Rounding you heathens up to put you into slavery to bind their kings you know, the, the top elites like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers with chains and their nobles, your lower luminaries, your Yuval Noah Hararis, your BGs, your uh, what? If they even survive, your Jeff Bezoses, your uh, what's his name? K Tissue Schwabs and their nobles with fetters of iron being the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of heaven to execute upon them the judgment written. In these scriptures, this honor, and it's going to be an honor to put you heathens into slavery, have all his saints praise ye Yahweh. Now I'm going to close it out in Isaiah 49, verses 23 to 26. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers, slaves and servants. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet which just means you're in a low goddamn position. You're exactly where you need to be. And before you know, the Rothschilds changed their name to that. They were the Bowers, which meant, you know, a peasant, a field worker, a lowly man, which is exactly what you are. And all you Amalekites and you Edomites. Remember, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me, the patience and the faith of the saints. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? And that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is going to save his elect, you know, out of the hands of you heathens, chiefly you Edomites. But thus saith Yahweh, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee and I will save thy children. Remember, 
when he's about to fill his belly, that's when the Lord is about to rain this destruction upon him. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. Hey, these weapons you created to uh, put you on top like these nukes are going to be these very same weapons that are going to take you down. He that liveth by the sword shall die by the sword, and all flesh shall know that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob point blank period and you heathens beginning with the elites are going to go into hardcore bondage and slavery for the first thousand years of the kingdom of heaven building it up but after that first thousand years these heathens outside of you edomites are going to be allowed to go back to their lands and live in peace under the laws statutes and commandments and if they get out of line they're going to be judged accordingly but as for you edomites Man, woman, child, young and old, hey, beginning with you goddamn Amalekites, every single one of you is going to be gathered up and permanently cold from this planet with fire, that Basra bonfire in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 18. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akium and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong. We are almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and until next time, Shalom.